Okay, hey guys, um, it's going to play for 10 here. Back with yet another video game collection video. Uh, this time I'll be doing my PlayStation 2 game collection. And um, I also, well, I actually um, have a lot of PS2 games. It's the system. Sorry about hitting the camera. It's a system I have the most games for, so um, I'm not even going to bother and make a pile of the games. I'm just going to kind of take them off the shelf and put them back on because there'd be like huge piles. Um, so, yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, first game Kingdom Hearts. Um, yeah, I did a playthrough on it. Um, it has a lot of fans, pretty, you know, huge fan base, fan boys. I'm really not that into it, though. Um, I mean, it's an okay game, and I enjoyed it, but, I mean, I'm not a diehard fan. It's, you know, okay, whatever. And then, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, actually, which I'm doing now. Um, you know, same thing with Kingdom Hearts, or, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Um, it actually felt a little bit more polished than uh, Kingdom Hearts, um, especially with the gummy ship thing, that's um, that and the reaction commands is where I saw the most change in the game. Uh, I think I'd prefer two over one a little bit. Uh, I do like how the series included Final Fantasy characters though, so that's pretty nice I thought. Uh, and then here is um, Final Fantasy, this is X or 10. Um, I am playing through this game kind of, um, on my own, obviously not making videos. Uh, I haven't played it in a while, actually. Um, first game to have voice acting, for, first Final Fantasy, anyways. Uh, there's something, oh yeah, it, uh, actually felt a little bit easier than the other Final Fantasies I've played, so, I don't know, I think they might have, uh, changed it a little bit for... I don't know, new players, I guess. People that got into it because of Kingdom Hearts. Um, and I have Final Fantasy XII, which I'm also playing, kind of. Uh, you know, it's pretty fun. I'd, I'd actually recommend a Final Fantasy X and XII. Um, although if you only want to buy one, then buy X and just rent Star Wars. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the truth. Uh, XII is very similar to a the story of Star Wars. Like I'm not even joking. Like that's what uh that's what I thought. And so I went online to see if anyone else thought um thought it was kinda of similar and it turns out like there are message boards uh filled with people discussing it, so and I thought that was kinda of funny. Uh, I'm grabbing four games at a time off the shelf, so if there's a pause that's what I'm doing. Just grabbing games. Uh, here is, um, Combat Elite, uh, World War II Paratroopers. Uh, it's a, actually, kind of strange mix. It's a RPG, not traditional RPG, though, it's kind of an action game. Uh, not exactly a first-person shooter, but you have a gun and it kind of locks onto the enemy. Um, kind of like the old Resident Evils, I think. But then uh, your character can level up, and you can gain skill points and rifles, machine guns, and um, you have like a health um, health meter, kind of like RPGs. Um, so it's it's an interesting uh, combination. I kind of like it though. It's pretty fun, I'd say. Um, and I have Battlefield 2: Modern Combat. Uh, this was the first Battlefield game uh, that I had. Um, I didn't really know about it. I just saw that when I decided to get it because it looked interesting. It's pretty fun though, pretty fun online game. Um, haven't played it in a while though. And then, uh, uh then I have Delta Force Black Hawk Down. Um, I would assume it's related to the movie. I mean, it kind of is, but... It doesn't have, like, you know, any of the same characters or whatever. I don't think it does. Uh, so, I really have no idea if it 
is related to the movie or not. It has the same name and sta same um, storyline, pretty much. Uh, this game, or yeah, Black Hawk Down, I played a lot online, though. Um, and then I also have Splinter Cell. Um, just the original one, I don't have any sequels or whatever. But, I don't know, it's a Tom Clancy game, and I really like Tom Clancy. So, I decided to get it. It is, uh, I know it's kind of fun. Um, I don't know if I should compare it to Metal Gear Solid or not, since I've never actually played Metal Gear Solid. But, um, you know, it's, if you're into stealth games, it's pretty interesting. Uh -oh. And then, uh, here, next four, Medal of Honor, Rising Sun. This is, I'm trying to think which one this is, this is a Japanese one, um, in the Japanese theater, I mean. So, actually, I think that one is the... That one's not co-op. Which one? Hold on. Um, okay, yeah. Rising Sun. I uh, know this one is co-op. Because I remember I played one with my dad, and then uh, we looked for some other ones, but they weren't co-op. Uh, so it's pretty fun to play, actually, with another person. Uh, but then I have European Assault, which is in Europe, believe it or not. Uh, still pretty fun. Um, Medal of Honor is... Um, I'm not going to say it's one of my favorite series, but I like it a lot, so, um, yeah, it's fun if you're looking for a World War II first-person shooter, and I actually have the other one, what's it called, uh, Frontline on GameCube, so, I'll show you that when I do GameCube. Um, here's two other, uh, fun kind of shooters, they're fun, I said, I don't know, they're not exactly first-person shooters, although they do have first-person mode, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, and, uh, uh, Battlefront 2. Um, they're, you know, kind of fun to play offline in the story mode, but they're, like, awesome to play online. Like, the multiplayer is, um, I don't know, probably my favorite online PlayStation 2 game. Uh, I spent a lot of hours, you know, just playing online. Um... That's really pretty fun. But if you're a Star Wars fan, of course, I'm going to assume that you have it. Uh, but even if you're not a Star Wars fan, I don't really think it's too heavy on the Star Wars um, references, if you want to call them that. So, you might want to look into it if you just like uh, games like it. Third person, first person shooter. Um, then, uh... Here I have Mercenaries, uh, Playground of Destruction, which I thought was an awesome game. A uh, pretty um, open sandbox style, which I really liked. Uh, you can pretty much, you know, go anywhere, do anything. They have a whole bunch of weapons and um, vehicles to use. And it's made by LucasArts, so I know what they're doing. Um, I also have a... Star Wars Bounty Hunter, 